Welcome to Soul for Soul Sus. Try again. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Soul Sus Catching with your whole soul. Uh, if you're new to the channel, great. If you're not, great. Welcome anyway. Let's go and get started. We're gonna talk about Zootopia as superheroes. I'm just gonna draw all these Zootopian characters as superheroes. So <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Look, come on, look, look, get out with me a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out, get out, get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. All right, so this first one. This is Judy Carrots. She's the main character of Zootopia. Judy is a uh, trustworthy type character. She's very, she's lawful good, okay? Very lawful good person. She does whatever she can to get rid of bullying or uh, just people being hurt or people who just need more protection. She is the tiniest character, one of the tiniest characters in the entire movie. <laughs> oh my God. Because the fact that in the movies, uh, universe predators are best seen as for like grunt work and police work is considered grunt work. So it's kind of weird for her who been being a herbivore to become a police officer. So yeah, it's unusual. She's, she's the first bunny cop, I believe. And I like the character. I just like her attitude, I really do. And what I'm gonna do for this one here is I want to kind of represent that a little bit. So what I did for her outfit, I gave her like a, like a Captain America-esque type of outfit, minus any shields. I mean, I could have put a shield in there, but I was like, nah, let's not do that. That's too much. So you can see here, I got Judy uh, posing, doing the American, hmm. I fight for America, Zootopia, I mean. Oh my God, this is really fun to make too. I had to like uh, get the gloves right too, cause it's like this fingerless gloves with like an extra thumb right here. So I was trying to like base it off of like a, uh, like swimwear mixed in with, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's not quite running gear. It's more like, I should put this, I guess sort of like swimming gear in a way. Yeah, I guess we'll be kind of swimming gear. I don't know, it's based off like, uh, like certain fashion styles and whatnot, but yeah. This is basically Captain America S. Judy. So as we go through each of these characters, you can give them a, a superhero type name if you want. Say in the comments below. I want you to, no, make up your own superhero name for her. Go ahead, tell me what you think. As I go through each character. So we're gonna have fun with this. All right, next one, next one. This is Nick Fox. I believe that's his name. I'm not looking it up. I know his name is Nick. Nick is the secondary main character of Zootopia. His entire steel, you know, spiel is, he's a, he's a crook. He's a thief. He's a he's a con man. He's a con man type person. You know that kind of personality going on throughout the movie. I just love his like his attitude throughout everything <laughs> as he does it. I want to kind of incorporate that a little better. So I was thinking like, who could I create for this? So I started thinking about an older character uh, from Pulp Fiction stories, and it's one called the Green Hornet. I'm sure many of you have heard of that. Some of you older folks probably know that one. If you don't know who Green Hornet is, think kind of like Batman or the Shadow. Sort of like that, sort of, sort of. Just a little bit, not too much though, it's just a tiny bit. Little, little, little sprinkles, little sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles. Open my little hand motion. Yeah, man, Nick is a very fun character to draw out. I had to make sure to like get this style right. So what I did for him is I kind of like combined two ideas, which is like Zorro for the mask and then I, and for his, uh, his little overcoat thing and the gun is uh, all Green Hornet style. So if you don't know who Green Hornet is, just, just Google that. Just look it up. If you don't know who Green Hornet is. I I, mean, I could have made his little partner as Kato. That would have been pretty funny. I probably should have done that. Maybe next time I do this again. We'll see. You make up, again, a superhero name for him. Make up whatever you want. I don't care. I had a lot of fun uh, just drawing this little gun of his. I was trying to think, like, how, how would Nick carry a gun? <laughs> how are you going to carry a Glock? <laughs> it's not like an actual gun. It's more like, again, it's not the Green Hornet. It's like a gas gun or like a grappling hook gun. Or it could be like a multi-tool type gun. So it's not really shooting bullets. It's like shooting like other type of things, like maybe electricity, maybe shooting a dart. I don't know. Make it up as you go. We're making it keep, keeping it kid friendly as we can. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, next one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite one to draw. This was my favorite one to draw. Flash. Flash with sloth. Slavington, however you say his stupid name, whatever. Flash, you remember that character, uh, the one at the DMV uh, scene where he just does everything super, super slow with the ironic name of Flash, the, that dirt face, that, that shit. I love that stupid face. Oh, I popped out on the screen. I love that dumb face. It's like the perfect dirt face. It's, I love it. Yeah, this is the most fun one for me to make of all time. I always want to draw this. Flash dressed as the Flash. I mean, come on. It writes itself. It writes itself. Flash as the Flash. Come on. I don't have to say anything else, right? Come on. It, it speaks for itself. Just look, look at it, man. Look at it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. I have so much fun making this. Mm. All right. All right. Next one. Next one. I keep forgetting this character's name. I guess I looked it up. I guess it is Gazelle, I'm assuming. I just call her Shakira the Antelope. That's what I kept calling her several times because the character in the movie is played by Shakira. She is a, just a backdrop character. All she is like, a, she's a singer. Just, you know, singer, dancer, that type of thing. Shakira is pretty much playing herself as a as a gazelle, named Gazelle. So, so there you go. I was trying to think like, uh, what, what superhero uh, archetype I could give her. 
And the one I came up to like immediately, I just simply didn't add a extra bust. I'll probably show an example that on screen is Power Girl. Power Girl is known for um certain assets, certain assets. She got tickled. Anyway, yeah, I was looking over. I was like, yeah, she looks like Karen. Karen is a uh, Power Girl's actual name. And so I decided to make a little outfit for that's kind of like a, a nod to it. I didn't do too much else with it. I don't want to get too flashy. I just want to give her an outfit that seems form-fitting and kind of like, you know, because she's supposed to be like kind of sexy, smooth type of character going on. And she's also like, you know, very, you know, self-improvement, very encouraging person. You can see what people look up to her in Zootopia. You understand why. All right, next one. And next one, I the last one should say I am most proud of. Check this out. It's Chief Bogo in an Iron Man style suit. <laughs> look at that. That looks so boss. I, I'm so happy I made it up on the spot. That was like, I made it up around the spot. I'm so glad I did. It's Chief Bogo has his own Iron Man type outfit. So Iron Bison, I guess, I guess. Anyway, I gave him the same color tone as his uh, police outfit, which is like, you know, blue, yellow, you know, police outfit, right? You've seen him a hundred times already. You should know this by this point. Come on, come on, man. You know what purple look like now? You trying to tell me you know what purple look like? Huh, huh? Stop playing. You know what purple look like? I know what 5 look at. I should probably know. I'm in Detroit. <laughs> we, we're quite familiar with Popo out here. Oh boy, are we ever. Oh boy. Yeah, I, dude, this was so fun to make, man. I'm so glad the community poll uh, decided on this. You guys, I love you so much. Uh, this is my appreciation to you. And the next video I make will be also another community poll one, which is going to be anime armors. And it looks like the winner is Dragon Ball Z. So that's the next episode. I guarantee you that's gonna be it. You're gonna see Dragon Ball Z stuff. So you ready for that? <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. And by the way, also give some names to these two. I want to give give us, give us some superhero names. I couldn't think of any. I'm just I'm just drawing them, dude. I'm just drawing them on the spot. We'll make up your own. Go right ahead. I'm calling him Iron Bison, though. That's I mean, come on. Look at him. Look at that guy. He is so strong. He's so strong. <laughs> but yeah, also I got you here by the way. Please use my vidIQ. It is at the bottom of the screen. VidIQ will help you with your SEO, your channel, if you're a content creator like myself. They actually have like pretty decent prices for their description. Just look it up for yourself. You can use my code right there, it's just right there. It'll give you a percentage off, like a discount. Just try them out. Or you can use a free channel if you want to, but this one will help, help me out, help the channel out too. That's why I'm trying to tell you this. Help me out, you help the channel out. I wanna help the channel grow more. Help me help the channel grow. That's all I'm asking. But if you don't want to, okay, fine. But just think about it, okay? Just consider it. Consider it. If you like what we've seen here. By the way, you also like what we've seen here, please, this is our Discord. I have that flowing on the screen, but it's gonna be, the description's gonna be at the bottom because I can't link that on here. So that's too much. Nah. It'll be in the descriptions and the uh, comments. Same thing with the vidIQ thing. All right, I'm gonna head on out. So remember to subscribe to the channel when you can. I absolutely love if you did. Like, share, all that beautiful stuff. You know the drill by this point. I will hope you do. Please tell me you know the drill by now. Please tell me you know the drill by now. By the way, if you really love this stuff and you wanna be a member, please join us. It's 99 cents. Let's try it out. Just try us out. Or there's other ways to tell me out too, which is to go to my website, which is flowing on the screen right now. Probably flowing my fucking face. I was smacking like, like this. Just, just smacking. Just smacking. Just smacking. Oh man. I'm on my face. Ugh. And uh, also remember to go to my Patreon as well if you want to give a, you know, archivist for me. Same thing with the website as well, but two different ways you can help me out. All right? All right? Okay? Yeah? We good? Is everything? All right. Remember to follow me and please go to the next video. I'll see you over there.